Hi everyone, it's Cindy. Welcome back to Studio Lou. We are doing Tuesday 10 today. So for those of you who are new here, Tuesday 10 is where I take 10 things out of my stash, papers I've been hoarding for some time, and we make ephemera until we are done with all of them. So what I have today is um, two pieces of like a, a certificate folder that has some like gold around the edges. I have this digital print out of um, some of my Will's cigarette cards from my shop. Um, I have this huge children's book page. It's an absolutely massive page. It's got a mermaid here and it's got this interesting eye back here. I have another children's book page um, that was like an animal themed kind of book. It's really interesting. I forget the name of the book right now, but it is uh, really beautifully uh, illustrated. I have part of a field guide page with woodpeckers. Then I have this really old piece of newspaper from a very long time ago, December 11th, 1937. Um, and it's got a bit of different stuff going on, so we'll have to look at that more closely. And then I have this little, I don't know if this is Beatrix Potter or not, I just love this little gerbil type person. And then I have some um, painty paper on old music paper. This is an image from a children's book. And then this is from an old scrapbook from the 1920s. Um, and it's got these two ships on this side and a Hovis bread ad on the other side. And I don't know if I can actually, no, I won't be able to peel this up. Um, this wasn't the one, no, I had one um, scrapbook that was made from like really old ledger and so I was always trying to peel things up to get it off but that's not this one. Okay, so let's get started. So I think I'm just going to take another quick look and determine if there's anything I can use together because um, that sort of helps me get going through Tuesday time a little quicker. Um, the first thing I think I'm going to do though is just decide what I want to do with this because it's huge. So where's that cool eye? Can I use the mermaid and the eye? Yes I can. So I'm going to just fold this and then we will tear it here. And then I want to cut out this little, this little eye door. It's so neat. So I've had um, a quiet day at home after a few busy days. Okay. I'm filming this actually early. I'm filming it on Sunday. I often try to catch up on filming on the weekends because it allows me a little more time. So we are now on the 30th, which is the day before Halloween. So I'm all ready to go for Halloween tomorrow. I actually have one more little task to do to make a guitar strap for my son for his little guitar for his costume, but I'm gonna get that done tonight too. I'm gonna stick this eye on here. I think that is a really cute little piece of ephemera. And I might look for a word snippet to go on it as well. But for now, let's take a look if there's any words we want to grab here. This could be interesting. Never took his eye off. Hmm. If it had more of a sentence, I might use it. The rest of his sentence was lost. The, as the eye suddenly exploded in his face. Oh, my head. Da, 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 da. There's a squirrel running around. Okay. Tree trunk. Let's grab um, deep into the woods because that's kind of a nice generic little bit of word snip it. <laughs> we made our dimwit catcher just in case and you have the honor of being the first dimwit caught. Nice. 
I guess I could use those seahorses if I wanted to, but I'm okay with that. I don't need them. <clears throat> Guardiana of the Pearls. Hmm, I think I might grab that. That's actually a really interesting little snippet too. This is kind of giving me an idea. Hmm. Okay, let's just continue. So, Sweetest Natured Fairies. I will grab that because I know there will be more fairies in my future probably. Not for a while because I just made a lot of fairy journals. Some of which are still in my shop if you're looking for some. Um, da, 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 da. Beautiful and tranquil. I think I will grab everything that was beautiful and tranquil. Mm -hmm. I'm going to grab the other Guardiana of the Pearls. That's just really cool. <clears throat> now we'll just hold on to this for a minute while I take a quick look over here. So here's my mermaid. Then I wanted to look at this newspaper really quickly here. <laughs> this is a Vaseline diaper ad. <laughs> okay. The sea. See Waltham first. It's this Waltham watches. It's a really nice ad. I think that might be what I use from here. But we also have <clears throat> Christmas colognes. A Pertessin ad. A Westinghouse roast ad. Okay, so yeah, I think. This delicate newspaper. Okay, I think what I want to do is I'm going to just cut this off. I want to use it. It's huge though. I'll have to think about it. <clears throat> but then I want to take a look at this piece of paper with the blue and anything I want here. I mean, I might snip the date off just because it's nice to have this kind of an old vintage newspaper date. That's kind of fun. I'll just put it over here with my word snippets. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm done with this piece of newspaper. <clears throat> Okay, now this one, I want to take this off. So I'm kind of getting an idea that I'm not quite sure it's going to work though. So I have to just, okay, put that over here. This, I want the Guardiana of the Pearls. We'll keep it here. I just noticed that these ladies are both wearing pearls these I'm guessing this is like a Queen Victoria and like I don't know who all these people are I'm not like a royal person I'm not into the royals okay so let's start by just cutting out this really cool shell I wasn't even going to use this piece but the guardiana of the pearls thing just kind of has me has my mind wandering. I'll cut the candelabra as well. Okay. That. Now, I also 
they want. Obviously the clamshell with the pearls. <laughs> Sorry if I'm quiet, I'm just focusing on cutting this. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, now what else would I want? I do quite like this, but I don't think I could cut it out. It's just really, really fussy. Maybe a bit of this kind of interesting gold and blue. I guess they're supposed to be like kelp leaves and coral. I need those seahorses but I'll just let them set aside here for a little all right so I'm looking at this and thinking about what we can do here so these this lady back here her face is too bent I'm gonna have to just cut her off but we're gonna take her And we're going to take her, despite this fold here, get rid of him, we don't need him. Guardiana could be like a um, a plural. Well, I'm going to imagine it can be anyhow. Okay. I only have one chance to glue this down, so I should probably lay it out first. I just really want to glue her down because her head is bothering me. <laughs> It's got that crease there. Word by word snip and go. There it is. Okay. Okay. Let's begin to glue these down. Okay. Just watching a video from a collage artist that I really love, really, really love. I'm going to do a video of something that she really inspires me. Um, her YouTube channel is called East of Honey, and um, I forget her name. I think it's oh, I'm not even gonna guess because I'm I'm just gonna forget. Um, yeah, but she is an amazing collage artist. She's so funny, quirky. Like I just like her style a lot. She she creates stories like I like to do um, in her own way that is really unique and very very fun and um, yeah I, I really like her so if you want to check out a really cool collage artist East of Honey I think you will be happy to have found her if you haven't already I mean she's a much larger channel than me I believe but um, 
yeah, if you've never heard of her, which, you know, not everyone has heard of everything. She's very cool. Okay, and this. <clears throat> I feel like that was a little higher maybe. Yeah, because I want to put this kind of across. Actually, no, that's fine. That's totally fine. Perfect. Now, what I want to do, I have to just lean over for one second. I'm sorry if I'm moving the camera and my chest is in the shot. <laughs> okay, I have this glitter glue um, and I just want to add some glitter glue to this. Right on the pearls. Is this open? I don't even know if this is open. Hold on. Because I have another one of these, but yeah, it's not. <laughs> Take that off. There we go. So we will just throw some glitter glue on here. Oops, that's a little bigger than I need it to be. Flatten it out a little. And then maybe up on the shell up here too. And then maybe in their hair a little. I wonder if I can get a small bead of this. Yes, I can. Okay. Okay. And then what do we want to do with this? Is this going to be a journal card? Is this going to be... I think I may trim it a little bit. Like to about here. And then here. And if I, yeah, I probably can make this into like a tag or a journal card. I can sort of decide. Um, all right, so what I'll do though, I'm just going to let it dry while we work on other things, but that is a bonus piece that I didn't even realize I was going to make. Um, so that's, that's happy, happy accidents, okay? All right, we'll set that aside. Now we'll go back to the mermaid, because um, the mermaid I was thinking I could do something fun with. It could be a booklet, it could be a pocket, it could be the front of an envelope. Hmm. What do I want to do? I think what I want to do maybe is make it a little smaller and maybe make it, yeah, like make an envelope with it. Or not an envelope. Well, maybe an envelope, yeah. Okay, like a little pocket, a floating pocket. Okay. Just stiffen that up a little. this. Mm. 
No, it's not going to do exactly what I want. I mean, it would also be a lovely journal card. I wonder if maybe I add some words to it or I have, you know what I also have? I have this little oyster from my, my Will's cigarette cards collection here. Maybe I'll make like a bit of a collage I'll make it a journal card and it doesn't need to be so so big we'll bring this down a little there now I'll put this up here if I have anything in my scraps over here. I've definitely got a bit of fabric, a little bit of blue fabric. a bit of book spine as well and do I have some ink yes I do let me grab some ink <laughs> again I'm reaching for all the things that I, I use very rarely so I'm like reaching over is this a good ink dauber I never really use it I don't really feel like it probably is um I want to grab maybe this and this. That's much better. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of ink in here and then a little bit of water. with a bit of this ink. Okay. Let's make this a little bit collage -y. I'm purposely not going to back this right now because I think I may do some freeform stitching on this as well. So let's set that aside to dry. Okay. I'm done with that. Okay, let's get rid of this sticky, sticky piece of paper. All right, now let's think about this. Okay, it's really, really big. Um, okay, I need a piece of paper to glue it to. And I'm thinking I may just use like the, the top. Back 
I'll take this part at the bottom off because it's not really all that important. Although maybe I have an idea for that too. We'll see. I just like this old sepia newsprint. It's really nice. And it's so old that it would be a shame not to use it. <laughs> this is really tricky to cut. Okay. And I just grabbed this bit of scrapbook paper out of my scraps. And I like the color of it. I think it would look really cool with that. I always feel like old paper is just like, oh, glue, I was so thirsty. <laughs> It's so happy to receive glue. It just straightens out and flattens out. It's very, um, I don't know, there's like something just kind of satisfying about gluing old paper. <laughs> okay. There we go. I'm not going to be too fussed if there's tiny creases, like... They're not impacting in any way to the um, the text, so that's okay. But I think even if they were, I wouldn't be too fussed about it. It's like, not a big deal. All right, so then what I will do is now tear the bottom here. And then, Cut this sort of half circle out. My house is so quiet right now. It's amazing. It's because my son fell asleep. <laughs> Everything is quieter when he's sleeping. Although he does need to wake up soon because <laughs> it's getting a little too late for sleepy dog. <coughs> Excuse me. And I will pay the price tonight if he's sleeping for too long. <laughs> he will be up, up, up. Let's just add a bit of ink to the back of this one. As well as just to this little crease here. I think I'll embrace that crease. There we go. So yeah, that's just like a large, you know, journal card. And it could be folded. I don't really see why not. You could even just use this fold. I don't really think it detracts in any way from, yeah, how cool it is. And the paper is good and strong. It's not going to rip or break. It's not like the kind of paper that cracks under pressure. So yeah, that way it'll be like easy to use in any size journal. So, all right, we'll set that one aside. That's done. Alrighty, what are we doing next here? Let's take a look and see. Is there anything that I can use any of this together really? So let's see, two tigers taking the one, the 10.20 train to Timbuktu. We've got some, we have a little toad on a bike. That's cute. But I actually quite like this vulture. It's really cool. I think this just wants to be like a tall floating envelope. I love making those out of children's books. Hmm. Yeah, so I think what we'll do is we'll fold it in half that way so we don't lose the vulture. Although I don't know if this is gonna work because we may not have enough. I might have to patch it with something, hold on. So if I fold this here, let's make a decision, an executive decision, we're gonna fold that there. 
and we want to keep the vulture on that side do we have enough let me see yep okay i just made it what i was going to do if i didn't would be to just like use a, an extra strip of paper to just kind of add to it there so what i'm going to do with this it's actually just, I want to add washi tape on this seam. Okay. And then I feel like I can probably make this kind of fun by cutting the top of it like this to get the curtain. Um, Cause I think like as cute as that is, I don't need the whole entire piece. And I like the, the way it looks um, with the, the curtain. I just need my bone folder, which is over here somewhere, right there. Okay, let's give this a bone fold. And then I'll go in with a little bit of our glitter glue to the bottom to just seal up the envelope itself. Okay. All right, so now we have this cute vulture envelope. Just gonna look here and see if I have anything relevant the vultures it doesn't look like it because I'd put like a label there or something but I don't think so mm -mm. okay so that's good as is now I'm going to use this boat for one thing and the other boat for something else so this one I really like Yeah, I will back it. I'm just going to maybe trim a little more from this side. Okay. That. Okay, this one I think I just want to kind of keep it as isn't just maybe back it it's just really beautiful I think like I don't want to mess with it too much to be honest it's just it's a really old piece of paper and it's just really beautiful it has a nice like worn texture to it and it's just like perfect as it is to be honest I love it so I'll set that aside and then this one we'll do something with and what I was thinking is I have a bunch of these um these little little cigarette cards and some of them are in fact related to boats so just cut a few out that are relevant here there's one And this is the kind of thing that I like so when I'm showing my my digitals here on the channel or I just want to print them for testing or whatever um, I print them out and then I have them hanging around I don't normally throw them in Tuesday 10 because like it's the kind of thing that you could you know just cut it up and I keep like a little um, focal point and snippet bin and you know they're not really in the way but I haven't cut them all out yet and I just saw it there and thought oh, I'll use that in Tuesday time just for the fun of it and I think doing this will also make me use them in a different way than what I might do if I just cut them all out and you know wanted to use them in a cluster or as like a glue down in a book that like on a page that needed a little something Okay, and we'll 
take this one that has lightning on it too. Okay, so then I'm thinking about... Um, You know what, I don't think it's going to work as I'd hoped, but I think these can be friends. So I want to cut this out in a freeform kind of way, because I think it would be really cool as a pocket cut like that. Then I've been making these other pockets with book pages. Um, I'm going to grab one and show it to you. Hold on. So I've been making these kind of pockets that are free form with book pages and some focal points. So I'm going to do that with these. So what I was using is actually my stamp punch. So um, do I have any, maybe we'll throw the December 1937 in the mix here. And maybe we will recycle a little bit of this page because it will go with the theme. Grab some of that fun green blue. Okay, so essentially you're just grabbing for scraps, little scraps that you have hanging around, and you're going to create like a bit of a fun shape. So this one I'm actually not going to cut as a stamp, I'll just cut a square out. Have some of this old map. grab one of these and then we'll glue down the December 11th 1937 need a little more background here. the lightning Put it right like that okay so that is pocket number two so then I just make a nice freeform shape and you can cut it down more if you want it to be a little smaller but I'm just making kind of different freeform shapes. Then what I will do um, at the end is I will stitch around it and then you, what we will get is something like this. And it just looks really fun and finished at the end of it all. So let's set that aside and that. And we might make some more of those because we've still got these cards here. So, but I'll just, I'll move on because we need to move on. 
I'm just um, going to, I think, take a look here. I need to take one quick break. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Now, let's move on to this cute, cute image. Okay, I think I know what I want to do with this, actually, and it's really quite simple. I just want to cut it out. I just think it's the cutest thing. It's like all of these, like, you know, rat or mice, mice looking guys. And this gerbil, he just stands out. He's so cute. Okay. And paper bag. Just cut this in half. I just want to glue him on there. Glue these guys down. And I am going to stitch around this, but I want to do something here. I'll show you. So just do like a rough cut. Rough, rough, rough. Okay. And then we're going to do little, little slits. Just cut not quite up to the card, but almost. Kind of like, you know, cutting corners on a pattern go all the way around doing that. Then we're going to squish these up, like crinkle them. And you know, I might actually just go around the edge with some art glitter glue, just a little tiny bit around the very edge edge. That's going to help keep my crinkles crinkled. This is going to need to dry a little so that it gets. It'll be like a fun little crinkly border. And we'll stitch right on top of that. So yeah, I will stitch all around on top of this um, afterward. Okay, what do we have? We have this, the cigarette cards, and this. So that's, oops, I'll do my anchor, hold on. <laughs> be my anchor falling on the ground, we can't have that. for any um, word snippets here. In the bright fireside nursery climb may hear it in as kind of voice. Yeah, no, it's all good. And then I'm also going to tear this off. I don't need that piece. Pull it over here. Okay. I think I want to do something totally not square with this. That I like this shape. And this shape and the way that it it kind of just feels very organic so we'll do this and then no I think that would be too much okay let's glue that on here I feel like that would just make a really cute tuck spot. I almost, honestly also feel like I just want to do the same crinkly thing with this. Because <laughs> I just discovered it. I just thought of it now. So it's like very exciting to me for some reason. Let's do it. Coming 
creature of habit here. All right, um, there we go. Then maybe I'll just add that little bit of glue again. That does seem to really help actually to keep your crinkle. Okay. And I wonder what would happen if you didn't crinkle really you just fold it you just fold those up because they're uneven as is right so we won't crinkle we'll just fold them up and see if that gives it a completely different look i think it might Be working on a commonplace journal um, for November 1st. And I'm excited because whenever I do Tuesday 10, I know that the stuff I'm making I can use in my commonplace journal at least. Okay, so yeah, that is a little bit different. And again, I will stitch around it. I just think that would be a nice, like, you know, kind of corner tuck spot. Maybe I'd put some like green yarn behind it or something. That's my thoughts on that one. Now we have these and we still have this and I did want to find some kind of a word snippet. Um, let's just pull some out of my bin here. Awfully wicked people. Ooh. None of us seem to be able to throw anything away. Words like raindrops fall on thirsty drooping heart. No. What's this one? deep into the woods. We just cut that one out today. How funny that I pulled that one. Everyday moments. Birds of a feather. Kindness and gentleness. Wishing feather. Near the old oak tree. Precious tapestry. Hmm. The moon comes up. Clear the sky grew darker. By the golden glint. Let's do that. We'll just remove her of her hair. Make it of her eye by the golden glint. Okay. I like that. And then, um, yeah, I'll make that like a little, a little card that can just do its thing. I just want to check on this and see how it's going with it. Yeah, it's getting there. It's getting to be dry. Okay. Okay. Let's take these words and put them back in the box so that we can continue on our mission to use these 10 things. So I still see a scrap of newspaper over there. I better look at that and see what we have left. And then we know we have the woodpeckers and the cards. So put my bone folder out of the way and the washi tape and the loudest ruler. All right, where is my pin for my glue? Hmm, it's a, mis a mystery, there it is, okay. Let's just tidy a little here. There's always a little tidy session at some point in Tuesday 10, right? We just have to do that. Okay, well, let's first take a look at this paper. So I don't really feel attached to much of this. Um, what does this pertussin say? <laughs> Your cough is a warning signal. Don't neglect it. When you catch cold, the secretions from countless tiny glands in your throat and windpipe often turn into sticky, irritating phlegm. This makes you cough. Pertussin simulates the glands, stimulates those glands to again pour out their natural moisture. Ugh. That just all sounds pretty gross. <laughs> I have no desire to make anything with that. Um, we have this old sort of, Dear Mary, here's a picture of our new loyalist den. Why don't you start a room this Christmas? Imperial loyalist is made in Stratford, Canada. Imperial loyalists. Um, 
I think that's the boat that my ancestors came to on United Empire Loyalists. Yeah, not Imperial. Never mind. Okay. That's about football. This is about razors. That's kind of fun. Yeah, I'll take that ad. It's it's about like razors, the Wilkinson razor. That's kind of cool. I do like to use the old ads. I just, I'm not too particular on the ones that are about like phlegm. <laughs> when it's talking about the ins and outs of that. No, that's okay. I mean, I see myself doing some kind of a anatomy kind of medical book or something at some point. I just don't, I don't know yet what that will involve. Is this big or small enough for this? Because that could be kind of cool on there because it's black. Let's do that. Oh, and the pertussin. It's going to be on the back. So I am still going to be using it. <laughs> Whenever someone buys one of my journals or anything out of my shop, I always send along a couple things. So one, I send along a package of my own handmade ceramic buttons. Usually I send those and I send along a piece of ephemera to just say thank you. And so sometimes you may get something a little silly and funny and this would be the case, but I, I usually try to tailor it to the tastes of the person if I know them because I have a lot of repeat customers. Um, so I do get to know kind of their personalities and or, or I kind of tailor it to like something similar to the journal that they bought so that I, you know, I'm being mindful. So what I'm thinking with this is doing some kind of like a nature cabinet type card. Um, education made agreeable. So if we cut some of these out, because they're sort of like natural history-ish, like this one has grasshoppers and crickets. This one has um, a, a walking fish or a sand mud skipper as they're called, as I know them as anyhow. And the rainbow, that's also like natural earth. Okay. This one is the Easter egg and the hot cross buns. And so I think what I'll do with these is just make them little tuck ins, like little, you know, sometimes you add a little tuck to a journal. I'll just keep these for that. So they'll be just bonus little pieces of ephemera. And I'll take this, which is the glow worms. cockades, the hats. This one I will set aside as just a little piece of ephemera. All by itself. It doesn't need to be used for anything. And I could have obviously done that with all of these, but it would have been kind of boring if you to just watch me like not only do all this cutting, but like that's all I do. <laughs> I don't want to bore you to bits. Okay, so I need my other book. I have two glue books now because I'm always using this nice paper and this one for um, ephemera because it's really nice thick paper. Okay, so let's go like this. This one's a sideways one too. Should be able to fit all five on here. Okay. Scoot you up a little. Oi, there we go. All right, so we've built like a little thing here. Then I'm going to tear this out. Okay. 
And I need my ink. It's going to kind of heavily ink the edges. And yes, I know some of this is going to get covered. It's okay. Nothing is precious in the land of paper. Okay, so we're going to do this. I want to keep the grasshopper. Okay, perfect. Now, I think I want to, um, I'm just going to grab a stamp. Just give me two seconds. Kind of making like a bit of a rough roundish kind of shape so that will kind of frame it all together and then I'm going to take the top of this and do one more here like that now put this away So this has already got a backing, but we do need to probably thicken it just a little bit. So I will back it again onto another piece of this old paper. I'm going to stitch it so I'm not too worried about how sticky it is or isn't. All right, so yeah, this is like a little bit of a nature-y kind of card. And then I want to just trim just going around the edge with some kind of dramatic inking. All right, so that will also get stitched. Okay, so my next stage I think is to go stitch everything um, and come back to you and we'll take a look at everything we have made here. So I will be right back. Okay, we are done. So I've stitched around this one. Everything was beautiful and tranquil. This one, I stitched around the Guardiana of the Pearls. I also added some of this um, luster wax all around the edge. It is um, a Sizzix Lilac Rainbow, and I felt like it's just pearly, so it goes really nicely with that. Stitched around this one, the one I wanted to keep sim simple, and I did. Um, you saw this one? I kept it as is. Stitched around that pocket that we made with the cigarette cards. This one, left it as is, happy with that one same here and here with these then stitched around these ones love how they turned out actually really a huge fan i think of this kind of edge i think that'll be really fun in a journal i stitched around this one stitched around this one i also added education made agreeable from that old book that we made this with and then of course i have these little things now i can put into my snippets so if we count those four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. That might be a new record, but I mean, I'm kind of cheating because I'm using these little cigarette cards as ephemera. <laughs> so that is it for me for today for Tuesday 10. I hope you had fun. I definitely did. And I will see you again very soon. Bye for now.